All right, all right, all right. Everybody, 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 everybody getting busy. Everybody getting busy, getting dizzy up in the hizzy. Yes, I'm not screaming today. I think my brother's in the basement sleeping, so I'm going to try not to scream while he's in the basement. But sometimes I just can't help it. So, hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night. Whenever it is you're watching this, I hope you're doing well. My name is Tom. I am the U. F-O Experiencer Coach. And yes, it's spelled just like it sounds, U-F-O Experiencer Coach. So with Tom Maher Coaching and Tom Maher CPCC, I want to thank you for watching this video. I want you to click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. You know how this goes. Now I want you to click the notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. And like this video, comment on this video, share this video. <laughs> share my video. Do you understand me? I'm talking to you. Share my video already. None of you are sharing my videos. You just want to keep me all to yourself. That's what it is, isn't it? So anyways, anyways. Okay, so uh, what was I going to talk about today? I, well, uh, one thing I'm testing, I'm testing on YouTube. You have the option, you know how my thumbnails, I'm actually uploading three different thumbnails and it's going to show different people different thumbnails. Like, check, see which thumbnail gets the most. I don't get that many views to begin with, but eh, let's see if they can see something with I put uh, put three different thumbnails up there. Hopefully they're interesting. Two, well, one I've used before, one I have, oh, that one I've used before, two I haven't. So we'll see how that all goes. We'll see how it all goes. But uh, yeah, the squirrel one is kind of applicable though, because I talked in the past about my ordeal with the squirrels and my bird feeder and all that stuff. Why well, I came out into my kitchen today, and sure, there was a squirrel hanging upside down on the bird feeder, just munching away at the bird. I was like, "What the? I thought I had fixed that. I thought I'd gotten, you know, figured that out." So um, I opened the door real quick, and of course, they scattered. And then uh, I was trying to, "What should I do? To, how can I fix it? How can I fix it?" And not more than two minutes later, they were back up again, hanging on the bird feeder. I'm like, okay, that's got to stop. So um, I thought, because what fixed it was, and I don't make fun of me for this, but what I fixed it was, because so my bird feeders, I have uh, what's they called a shepherd's hook. It's a big long pole and comes a hook over and you get a, and people hang plants on. Well, I hang my bird feeders on them, so I had a big shepherd's hook. And what they would do is they climb up the, the shepherd's hook pole and jump over on the bird feeder, and then they'd munch away. Well, what I did was I ended up taking some Vaseline and just Vaselining up the pole and. I know that so don't, when I first did this, a friend of mine, she's, oh, cool, you put a stripper pole for squirrels in your yard. No, it's not a stripper pole for squirrels in my yard. Did you lube it up? Well, yes, I lubed it up, but it's not a stripper pole for squirrels in my yard. So don't, I don't want to see that in the comments, but whatever. So I thought, it's been working so far, so it didn't even occur to me maybe that the Vaseline had dried up or fallen off or something. So, because I put it, but then again, the last time I, I greased it up was like probably, after winter, after the snowfall. In fact, it may have even been last last fall. It may have survived the winter and still kept him off. So I thought. But I was thinking, you know, because he was hanging upside down, grabbing onto the sides of the bird feeder. I thought, what if I just greased up the sides of the bird feeder so you couldn't really grab onto that that way? But I went out and the the pole was pretty dry. It was not a lot on there. So um, got the Vaseline out, Vaseline up the pole again. I thought, you know what? As long as I'm doing this, why don't I just grease up the kind of sides of the bird feeder where he's hanging onto it? So greased up the sides of the bird feeder. I just went out and checked. There's four squirrels out there. None of them are hanging on it. <clears throat> um, but it remains to see if it worked. It, it's worked in the past, so it remains to see. Remains to be seen if it'll work this time. But the, the the birds are there. Birds are happy. Birds are getting fed. And that's the thing. The birds knock so much bird seed onto the ground that the squirrels have enough there to eat anyways. They don't need to be climbing up and hanging off the bird feeder. And now not only do I have squirrels out there, I have chipmunks too. I have chipmunks. You know, last year I thought I saw a mouse there, but I'm not sure if it was a mouse or not. And now that I'm seeing all the chipmunks out there, it may have been a chipmunk that I saw. But uh, definitely, definitely seeing chipmunks and squirrels and, of course, birds out there. So that is the update on my birds. I think I did a video, I think, recently of me filling the bird feeder. Did I? I did something outside where I showed you. Yeah, I showed you the bird feeder, I think. I showed you the bird feeder. So yeah, now the squirrels are kind of like back to hanging on the bird feeder. So I got to figure out a way to keep them off of there. So grease up that pole again. Took the Vaseline out and greased up that pole. So hopefully that'll work. And it's kind of a, kind of a rainy day out here in, in the Twin Cities. But uh, and I, I think I mentioned I did some patchwork in my yard. I'm starting to see new grass coming up in the patch area, so I'm really happy about that. So, And actually, I threw down some extra seed in some spots that need patching, and I've got this lawn soil. I could have just put over it, and I didn't put the lawn soil over the top of it. So it's kind of like sitting on the surface. I'm going to probably do that sometime this week, and maybe Sunday I'll do that. Put some just lawn soil over the top of the spots where I put down new seed, and it's kind of sitting on top. So, yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea. It's good stuff. Yeah, I'll do that on Sunday. Yeah, we'll see how that works. So, But yeah, so the patch seems like it's starting to work, and... Uh, Got the bird feeders are full. Um, saw raccoons. Did I tell you the raccoon story? Ooh. 
Uh, this is going to be long. So, well, no, I mean, this is a five minute video so far. And usually I try to keep them kind of short, but um, I've been put down the grass patch, so I got to keep kind of keep it wet and watered. Um, now it's raining, so I don't have to do it so much. But last week I, I had to go to work early, so I got up early and uh, I went out the door. And when I went out the door, I heard lots of commotion in like my backyard. Like I was like, what's going on? I was thinking, man, those squirrels are really making a lot of noise back there this morning. So I, you know, what's up with that? So I went to went to my garage to get my uh, my wand, my uh, my my watering wand, my sprayer, and I uh, walked in the backyard. No squirrels, nothing, no one. It was all quiet again. So. I, didn't think much of it. Went and grabbed my uh, watering wand. Walked out to the front yard. Put hooked up the hose. Turned it on. When I watered and watered and watered the uh, the, the patch for a while because you want to get it really soaked. You really want it soaking and, and it'll adhere, adhere to the ground and it'll you know keep the moisture in and help the, the seeds grow. And then I did go over and I watered some of the spots where I'd thrown down some bare seed, which is that's where I need to put down some lawn soil so they can get some be coming up through. So. Um, and it was all quiet, all quiet. And so then, yeah, I finished up that. I shut off the water, took off the wand, headed back to put the wand in, in the garage again, and got into the backyard. And uh, it was still pretty quiet, but all of a sudden, I, I looked at the, the picnic table, and there was like a shh. And I looked up, and there was two really, really, really big raccoons up on the table munching on my peanuts. And another one was like turned the other way, and they all just froze. And they were like, like they just froze. Like if they, if, I, if they didn't move, I wouldn't see them. I was like going, Raccoons can be nasty. They can be dangerous. I'm like, okay, I'm not bothering them. I'm just going to put this away and get to go to work. But because uh, I've I've had you know last year, I think I might have told a story last year where they're out in like the middle of the night back there and they're outside like my bedroom window and I had to turn the lights on. And I was like kind of growling at them. They're like hissing and growling back at me. So we kind of had that little competition threatening thing. But there was like a, a house between or a window between us, so I was felt pretty safe. But now here I am standing out in the yard with the uh, three. Uh, there may have been a fourth there because last year there was four of them. There were four, and there were, one was really big. So I think it was a family. This time there was three, and at least there might have been a fourth. But uh, uh, I was not going to try to do a pose down or try to intimidate or do posturing and kind of like you know growl out or uh, I didn't want to mess with the raccoons because they can be dangerous. So if you don't you mess with raccoons, does that be a lesson for you? Um, yeah, don't mess with the raccoons. So yeah, so that was that. So uh, bird feeder set, got it all greased up. Um, um, think I got it kind of squirrel proofed again. Didn't see any raccoons. So I'm gonna wrap it up because I got things to do, baby. All right. So my name is Tom. With uh, I was almost at endless possibilities coaching and speaking. I am still with endless possibilities of coaching and speaking, but. Tom Maher Coaching and Tom Maher CPCC. So hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Until then, I want you to take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. Don't mess with raccoons. Check the oil level on your car every time you fill your tank. And uh, check those bank balances every single day. you got to check those bank balances. All right? Now you've got your marching orders. Have a good day. I will see you next time, everybody. I am out of here. You had a bad one last time, so that was a pretty good one. Bye-bye.